Why? Because we learn something huge about ourselves, that the outer world is an illusion and it's consciousness, and we can do anything from within, absolutely anything at all. Uh, and, uh, and so why would we need airplanes if we could just disappear and appear anywhere else in the universe? Knowing that it's only consciousness, well, that's easy. You just change the image and you're there. Um, obviously, the people that came here, uh, these uh, roughly 250 to 300,000 uh, star systems that, that, that have come here to, to uh, witness this directly, uh, these are the lower levels of consciousness of the universe. Anybody that flies around in a spaceship is not that advanced. I mean, can you imagine, uh, does Archangel Michael need a spaceship? <laughs> <laughs> he can be anywhere he wants. He just has to think the thought and he's there. And, and, and this, is a, this is where we are about to be. This is, this is no little jump, this is a big jump. But the speed. Is the, is the key. Because uh, if we could see ourselves, if we were outside of the system looking back in and, re and referencing it to everything else in the universe, we would be moving so fast in evolution that, and this was the image that was given to me by Thoth, he says it would be exactly like a baby being born and 15 minutes later they're a full adult. That we're, fast we're, we're moving that fast. So in one hour, it's going to be... We're just, we're just expanding um, past. And again, 100 years of evolution, and all of a sudden we're in uh, another world almost. And, and there are sciences coming up right now that are going to make everything that we know obsolete very soon. I, in the next two or three or four years, uh, it's all going to be... All this stuff is going to be useless, we, we, uh, new science. The Russians have just developed a whole new science on uh, uh, it obsoletes uh, relativity, special relativity, quantum physics, stri super string theory, and everything else. You can throw it all away. Uh, the, the, they're so far advanced on, on this theory that, uh, if you want to call it a theory, they can now know where every single proton is in the entire universe at any second, in any moment. And uh, they can take a human body, which is made of protons, and determine every movement it's going to make through the rest of its life on a computer. And it's 100% accurate. 100% accurate. Uh, yeah, they can predict everything. They can predict a little rock moving through space. They can, they can predict it's going to be there and exactly where it's going, based purely on mathematics. And, uh, and, uh, and so uh, this new science is going to alter everything. Uh, they're beginning with uh, communication. Our levels of communication through uh, television and uh, radio and all this stuff, pff, totally useless. Uh, they now have demonstrated to over 500 scientists in Germany uh, about a year and a half ago that you can take two computers, one in one place, one in another place, and transmit data from one computer to the other without any electromagnetic fields whatsoever. Having nothing to do with microwaves, radio waves, cosmic rays, thoughts, feelings, anything. It all has to do with gravity. And uh, a, a new understanding of what gravity is. And that's the problem with relativity and quantum physics and all these things. The, the anomalies are always centered around gravity because they didn't know what it was. And, uh, and uh, and what this theory shows is amazing because they, the Russians have discovered that gravity is a living thing. The whole gravity is everywhere. There's nowhere where it is not. Like and dark it, matter kind of thing. No, this is not about dark matter. This is about pure gravity and it's everywhere. It's in the middle of rocks, middle of planets, out in deep space. It's what controls the movements of all the stars and all the planets and everything that's going on. Uh, this energy field is alive and conscious like we are, and human beings can communicate with it, and they've been able to scientifically document it and prove it. It, uh, it, it changes everything. And so uh, through Germany is where they're uh, uh, releasing all of this information. They, like I said, they take two computers. They can transmit information from one to the other, not through electromagnetic fields, but through gravity. Like bending 
joining two points in one. Everything's linked together through gravity. And, uh, and so, uh, it is, it's like the consciousness of the universe, at least on one level. And we've never been able to, we never have seen this before. And, um, and what's interesting is that you can transmit from one computer to the other any amount of data, the, the bandwidth between them is infinite. It's not big or almost infinite, it's infinite. So all the knowledge of the whole universe, of all 16 billion years, for example, if you had the computers that could do it, could transfer it from one to the other, and in zero time. Not a short amount of time, zero time. So it's been there all the time. It's like if it were been there all the time. Yes. Almost. And distance doesn't matter. So we could, if that other computer was not just on another island like they did in this thing to test it through the government, through the, through the scientists, uh, the other computer could be on the other end of the, of the universe, 16 billion light years away. They could transmit messages from here to there instantly, zero time. Doesn't matter how far away you are. And uh, that's been now scientifically proven to the world. And, uh, and so they're now preparing to go into uh, the communication worlds. And all of this stuff is almost gone. We, we won't need it. They'll, they will, uh, uh, they're, they're going, all the systems, the banking systems, the insurance systems, the entertainment systems, the music systems, everything uh, are about to function on a different kind of, of a way, which is going to um, be a scientific revelation like we've never seen before. And that's, that's emerging as we speak right now. And, and this is just an idea or understanding of, of, of what's about to happen. We're about to go into another level of technology. But that level of technology interfaces with con human consciousness. And, is, and, and when human consciousness interfaces with that level of technology, a level of technology that can speak back to you across, then uh, that's the end of technology. Uh, when we get to that point, we'll realize that we can communicate with each other because gravity's everywhere. We don't need cell phones or any other form of electromagnetic devices. And, and this is, a, I think most of the people involved in this realize that this is, a, this is the end of the uh, technological world. And if the Vedas are correct, it happens in a single day.